President Trump's tariffs. They've obviously sent steel prices rocketing. This has helped ArcelorMittal, the world's biggest steel maker, report its highest profit in seven years. Joining us now is Bloomberg Executive Editor for Energy and Commodities, Stuart Wallace. Still with us, Andrew Perry, Head of Sustainable Investing at Hermes Investment Management. Stuart, let's start with you. Trade wars are supposed to be bad for business, but they're not bad for everybody. Uh, ArcelorMittal is, uh, is a clear winner here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, maybe it's a little premature to declare a winner in the trade war, but at least based on today's earnings, uh, ArcelorMittal is indeed the winner. And I guess a couple of reasons here. One, most of its operations are in Europe and in the NAFTA region. Uh, and two, as you said, uh, you know, global demand appears to be strong. It, we are finding it quite difficult to square the circle of rapidly rising steel prices in some regions combined with a very, very bullish outlook, in fact, a, a more bullish than previous outlook for steel demand around the world. At some stage, those two are going to have to bash into each other. If Arsenal wins, does somebody lose? Yeah, I mean, at some stage, somewhere down the supply chain, someone is paying more. And that has to be bad for their margins, that has to be bad for demand, and ultimately that has who, to be bad for business. Who are Arcelor's biggest customers? Well, it's going to be the car makers, primarily, uh, but they, they're, they're everything. I mean, they are the world's biggest steel makers, so they make just about every product under the sun. I, I want to bring this to Andrew on an issue that I had actually hadn't even thought of before, but um, maybe... The earth is a winner here. Is it a good thing if we have tariffs uh, on, on products like steel? It's an incredibly energy intensive product to make. Can't be good for uh, our CO2 levels. Uh, no, but uh, tariffs aren't the answer to that. I think the answer to that is thinking more about your input level, you know, one, how you manufacture steel if you can reduce uh, emissions there, but more actually how you use steel in buildings, in industrial processes, in the auto industry. And China's doing a heck of a lot. I think actually where you will see the demand for steel change is in China. I think iron ore demand is already down in China. They are doing a lot in closing plants, re retooling, re-engineering. So it's ironic that it's China that's leading the world in actually driving towards envir better environmental practices, even in heavy industries.